What is up YouTube? It's Tyler the American here with another reaction video today. But before we jump into that, I do have a few comments. First and foremost, I set the goal of 25 subscribers by today. And if we hit that mark, we would bump up the $5 Try Not To Laugh Challenge on Sunday up to $10. And guess what? We hit it. We've already smashed it. So shoot, looks like we're up to a $10 Try Not To Laugh on Saturday. Or Sunday, sorry, Sunday. I think we're gonna go Sunday. So what I wanna do is say thank you guys very, very much. I was not expecting to grow this fast. Within the matter of a week, we are almost up to 30 subscribers already. And that just blows my mind. The goal for this week was initially 10, and we're about to triple it. That's that's just absurd to me. So I appreciate y'all quite a bit. You have no idea. It's, it's honestly incredible. So thank you, guys. Secondly, I have another... I, I, I've already mentioned this. I'm a goal-oriented person. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set another goal for this channel. If we can hit 35 subscribers by Sunday, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna change this Try Not To Laugh challenge from a crisp $10 bill up to a crisp 20. So we're gonna double it again if we can hit 35 by the time I record that Try Not To Laugh. So, let's see what happens. Anyway, anyway, let's get into the video. Today we're going to be reacting to a video called Football Fans and Atmosphere USA versus Europe. Someone in the comments told me to react to this. This is the second sort of USA versus European fan reaction that I'm going to be reacting to in the last two days. You guys really like these, and I like them too. What I'm curious about with this one is, is it going to be American football, or is it going to be European football versus European football in the U.S.? We're about to find out. Without further ado, enough of my rambling on in this intro. Pa 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 play that shit. Pew. USA. USA. We got drums. I'm guessing this is I think I see in the background some Mexican jerseys. So USA Mexico game, so this rivalry right here. Yeah, it's Mexico. I believe that we will win. Oh, I believe that we will win. I know this one. I know this chant. It's not very. It's not very exciting. Nobody's getting too hyped. To, it's a freaking Team USA game. You should be getting hyped for this. You got just a bunch of fans sitting around as they do at professional sporting events in the U.S. And then you got a small subsection doing their thing. I respect the small subsection. They're not crazy crazy, but at least they're getting into it a little bit. Whereas, like, you see everyone on these other sides of the stands, they're not even standing up. It's actually kind of stupid. No idea what team this is. Come on, Seattle! Come on, Seattle! He's got an ultras thingy on. Fight and win! Fight and win! That's a fairly big crowd. Seattle! I had no idea they were called ECFC. I thought they were just the Seattle Sounders. Who the hell's ECFC? Oh, Europa. Here we go. Let's see some flares. Oh, they're marching. Oh, I like the architecture in this city. They're being led out by a cop car, too. That's, they're getting that VIP treatment. They march into the stadium? Is that what they're doing here? I feel like just right here, 
in this little crowd here in Montana City. More fans than show up to most U.S. soccer games or U.S. European football games. Is this a dome? This almost looks like it's like an indoor stadium. Might just be the way the lights are hitting. The things I would do to have an American sporting event in an environment like that. The things I would do. And the amount of money I would spend to go to them. <laughs> Holy sh Is that safe? They're just all jumping around like this is a normal occurrence. I see empty stands. There are seats in the stands. There's empty seats there. Come on, North Ireland. seats right there. That's not good. European football to let me down here. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's still a hell of a lot better atmosphere than a Team USA game. I feel like I've seen quite a few AC Milan highlights. No idea what they're saying, but they're getting it. I would have thought AC Milan would have been older than 1899. Don't get me wrong, old as hell. Who's the Roosters? Who's just, is it France? Is it just France? I feel like France is the Roosters. I'm gonna feel real bad if I got the flag wrong, but I think that was France, right? I have no idea who this is, though. So there's some deep stadium seats right here. I hate to have to walk up the stairs. No idea who this is either. Small stadium, but man, they are insane. This is crazy. There haven't been any flares yet. This one's German, ain't it? I took like, what, three years of German in high school. I recognize German words. See, I still want to go to Amsterdam. This is just looking nuts. I've seen these clips. I've seen this clip. I've seen the guy getting hype up there. Woo! Small stadiums look like they did. They still look like they'd be fun as hell to be at. For those of you who have been to both, like stadiums like this, and then the big ones like I don't know that Amsterdam stadium we were just looking at. Which environment's better? I'd be curious because I'm inclined to believe that this might be more fun. I don't know though. Have to experience both, probably. Let me know, though. Let me know in the comments your guys' experiences there. I'm curious. I really am. Paris! I'm 
I've never been to Paris. Just surprising. I'm assuming Romanian national team game. I like the flag, that's pretty cool. I like the big ones and then all the little ones laying in. This is, this is sick. That was cool. As always, I think it's safe to say the Europeans won. Y'all are about shit crazy. It's not a fair comparison here. I will say it once again. I said it in the last video. This time you didn't nitpick things. You didn't nitpick bad, like, basketball environments. I'll give you that. You just nitpicked a sport we don't care about very much in the U.S. Let's let's be honest here. I think everyone can admit U.S. doesn't care about soccer. Unless it unless we make the World Cup, then maybe a little bit. Women's side, yeah. Yeah, when we're playing in the World Cup. Any other time of the year, frankly. Don't care too much, but that's the elephant in the room. Give it. As always, I'll give credit where credit's due. In Europeans, you guys are batshit crazy. What makes me sad about this video, I will say this. I'm kind of pissed. There were no flares. Flares, I feel like, are a hallmark of European football, and I didn't see a damn flare in this entire video, and it kind of let me down. So the, that wasn't even a good European atmosphere, it didn't look like. It wasn't as batshit crazy as it could have been. So, tisk tisk. I wonder if it's just the nature of the video I was watching, though. It's probably from some official channel, and they can't show shit like that. Who knows? Anyway, anyway, good video, good video. I'm going to start expanding out here. Next thing I'm going to react to are some football fights, hopefully. I want to watch some fans getting into it from, like, different fan bases just brawling it out. I tried to do that today, and I couldn't download the video, sadly, to, to actually post the reaction, so... We'll find another one. We'll find another one. I want to watch some fans getting into it. But anyway, keep in mind, 35 subscribers. 35 subscribers and we'll, we'll double that money up to $20. As always, thank y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe. And also, give me some video ideas. Give me something, give me something different. I'm, I'm okay with reacting to soccer stuff or football stuff or sports stuff in general. But give me something different. Let me see what... Expand my horizons. Thank y'all. Peace.